All right, cool. Here we go. Well, my name is Omar. I'm going to show you how I make the rice with guandulas the way I make it. I'm not a professional, you know what I mean? Just try to copy the best you can as the way I do it, all right? The number one thing you want to do is you want to get a regular pot, okay? Have your beans ready, whatever you want to call it. Make sure you wash your hands, all right? Take your jewelry off. When your jewelry off, you want to wash your hands. All right, the first thing we're going to do right now is we're going to put rice in the pot, okay? So you go to where the rice is, and the way I make it is I make three cups, okay? So you go into the rice, you have your cup there, okay? And you take three cups, there you go, one, two, three, that's three cups of rice, okay? Then, after we do that, we're going to go now and wash the rice. You can see just three cups of rice and it's black. We're going to put some water in here. Like I said before, my hands are already washed. And you wash the rice. Just move it around with your hand. Take all that, you know, dirty thing of the rice is there. And we drain it out a little bit. Okay, just drain that water you put in there. I'm holding the rice still, though. It's hard doing it with one hand. You can do it with two hands. Holding a camera here. Okay. And then you put more. Alright. There we go. I'll put the camera down for one second here to see it. Alright. Just that dirty water. And then you do it again. Put more water in there. Don't wash it. I usually do it three times. I like doing it. And you wash it again, let that water out. Okay. Now we're gonna put the water. A lot of people measure with cups. I don't know how to, I learn my way. I just put it in there and I measure it with my hand. So how do I know that I have enough water? My trick is when I put my hand in, if it gets to my knuckles, it's enough water. If I still got a little bit more water to put in, that should be good. Well you can kind of see that it's just enough water to cover the rice, okay? Now, what you want to have, you want to have the ingredients you're going to use. You're going to use one of these sobrecitos, it's from Goya, it has con cilantro y, what the heck is that? Anchoina, whatever the heck that thing is. Sorry, I know I sound dumb right now, but I can't read that. So you just need one of these. See, there's two there, all we need is one. Hold on. So we need one of these, okay, let's just put it here for now, put this away, okay, we need one of those, we're going to need salt, okay, regular salt, and we're going to need some oil, okay, uh, let's use regular oil, okay, so that's what we're going to need to make the rice, and of course the beans, now, to make the rice, what I'm going to make, you could use any kind of bean, I have these green ones, I have these pink ones, and I have the small red ones. Uh, let's make the pink one. Okay. So I'll put it here. First thing you want to do now is, you have your water, as you can see. It's covering your, your rice. Okay. You want to turn your stove on. Remember, I haven't put nothing in here yet. You want to turn your stove on on high. Okay. There you go. Now you want to throw some oil. Not that much, just a little bit. You go one, two. And a little more. That's it. That's how, that's how I do it. See, just little drops of oil. Not that much as you can see there, okay? Then you put some salt, okay? You open the big hole of the pile of salt, right there. And I do usually three, like two and a half circles. One, two, then a little bit more. That's it. Okay. Then now, we're going to put the beans, okay? I have no nails, so I need a knife to open that. Okay. This is so hard with one hand. Okay, there we go. We open it. If we can. Give me a second. There we go. And again, I'm making this video for uh, a friend of my one of my, one of my son's friend that she wants to do the rice. So I just washing my hands. All right. So when I do that, right now. 
I'm going to take the beans, and now he's going to throw it on top of the rice, where all the water is in the beans and everything. Just throw it up there. Okay, just pour the whole thing in there. See, the can still has a little bit, so you could take a spoon. Take a spoon, I just put the same little water from in there. Want it all in there, nice and empty. Okay, now this is garbage. Next, I take the sasson, the one that I showed you earlier. Just one little envelope you need, that's all you need. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to open it. This is so hard, one hand. Alright. Now I'm opening it, and you're going to pour the whole thing in there. Okay. The whole thing's going to be in there. This, this is how easy this is, and I'm serious, it's so easy. Yeah, I used to think when I was younger that it was hard too, but trust me, it's not. Now you take a spoon. Give me a nice size spoon. I'll give you a spoon. I guess that's good enough for now. Alright, so, you know, a regular spoon, like this one. And you just shake it nicely in there. Remember, you have the salt, you have oil, you have the sasong. And you have the beans and the rice. And now you shake it up really good there. Now, as you can see, the fire is hot. The number nine there, right? As you can see, what I'm waiting for now, now I leave the rice alone there. And as the rice is cooking, if you got to do meat, do anything else, you could do it. What we're waiting for now is, we're waiting for the water to almost dry up, okay? When it starts boiling, and you see the water, like, disappearing, that all you're seeing is the rice, that means what you could do now is lower the fire. When you get to that point that the water is boiling and the rice is already showing, right, you come here back to the fire and you put it in low. I usually put it like in four or three, which is almost in low. And then you take the cover, cover with aluminum foil, the cover. Why I do that, I have no idea. My mom been doing it, my wife does it, everybody calls aluminum foil, so I guess it does not to her rice. You cover aluminum foil and you cover it. Not now. Again. When the rice is showing, when the water is almost gone, you're going to lower the fire down with the water and shake it, and then you're going to cover it with the top, alright? And then you let it there cook until you see the rice is done, which is going to take probably another 20 minutes, 15 minutes maybe, and you'll be done. Right now, all you're going to do, all we're waiting for is to leave it alone and let it boil. When it boils, you can see the rice once again, we're going to lower the fire, put the cover on, and leave it in four until the rice can cook. And that's it. That's how you do the rice and one day, my style. Alright? Alright. Thank you. And uh, if it comes out good, good. If it comes out bad, please don't blame me. I'm not a professional. I'm just trying. Bye.